We're gonna do pastel pueblos today. You're gonna need a paper towel. I tear it into smaller pieces. Ta-da. You're gonna need the big box of chalk. You're gonna also need manila paper. You can get the big one or the smaller one. Of course, write your name, date and code at the bottom, etc. okay? Now, to make the pastel pueblo, we're gonna use tints and shades. You can use neutral colors or you can use other colors and do monochromatic colors. I'm gonna use neutral colors. I'm gonna use a dark brown, a medium reddish brown, and a light brown. If you use peach, just keep in mind it's the same color as your background, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the darkest color first at the bottom because things that are closer to us look darker. I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is make a silhouette of a, pas, of a pueblo, of an old indigenous town, okay? Then what I do is I take my paper towel, I wrap it tightly around my finger and I'm gonna color with my, my finger. <laughs> and all you're gonna do is you start at the top of the chalk line and you smear it down. Do you see how it's looking old? See how it looks old? So you get this effect, like it's been rained on a lot, okay? Then I'm gonna take my medium color tone and I'm gonna make the second story of this building. And I might have areas that are behind it that you can't see as well. Like that. Again, I take my paper towel. I can use the same section with that dark brown on it or I can find a new section. When I smear it down, I'm trying not to smear it into the next section, to the bottom section. And if it goes a little bit above, which it probably will, because chalk is messy that way, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Now I'm gonna take my lightest color, add in the top layer, the top of the building, whatever that might look like, okay? Again, <clears throat> I'm gonna take my paper towel and smear it, but this is where you can have a little fun with it. I like to blend my colors together. So I might just do that, or maybe even a little bit of yellow. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna take my paper towel, wrap it around my finger, hold it down. And so you see, I get like this blended, cool blended um, effect. All right, now, since I have like, you see my chalk, like the other chalk got covered up from the, from the previous level. I've got some chalk here. I can take my paper towel and kind of rub it out. I can even take an eraser and rub it out. Um, but now I'm gonna do the weather. So I can do rain, I can do snow. And whatever it is that you want. I like to do thunder clouds because I love thunder and lightning and all that. And I like to make it look like it's windy, like it's a real storm. So I'm gonna smear it diagonally. So it really looks like it's coming in hard, like a big old thunderstorm. But you can do whatever kind of weather you want. Then at this time, go in and put in some other things. Like maybe I can put in a Kiva. Maybe this has a ladder on it. Um, I'm going to put in some doors so people can get into their houses. And it's very like vague. It's not, you can see I'm not being real, you can be as specific as you want to be or as detailed as you want to be. I'm gonna put in some ladders, but I kind of do it at an angle. So it looks like railroad tracks because it's actually leaning up against the wall. So that's what I'm trying to do is make it look like it's leaning up against the wall. Um, also, I'm gonna put in logs at the top because it's those logs that are holding up the building. That's what's supporting the ceiling or the next floor level. So these are logs here. And you do as many as you want. You can even like make it smear down a little bit to create a shadow effect there. Uh, and anything else that you might want to put in there, of course, I'm gonna put some pottery in mine because I like pottery. There's some pottery at the top of the building, maybe collecting some water, I don't know. Okay, thank you.